Hey, this is Casey Prince, and uh, I've had the, the pleasure of knowing Sass um, for a long time as a student um, in his youth ministry, or someone who actually just first met him around the school and who was invited into um, the ministry and just fell in love with what God was doing there as a high school student, as someone who then um, was a college intern for several years and dreamed of working alongside of him, and then someone who did ministry with him um, yeah, hand in hand for more than seven years. And uh, I just look back and think of all the funny things and all the f great stories we would have of um, our very first spring break trip when I was a sophomore in high school and all the shenanigans that went on as Sass was our chaperone, him watching Lion King probably daily, twice daily even. Um, yeah, to, to all the fun experiences we had traveling together and our experiences the, at the Rose Bowl in 1998. Um, you falling through a roof in Mexico on a mission trip. I mean, just all the trips and all the experiences. I just look back with such fond memories. But really, um, when I think about your legacy, really, Sass, I think of just the ways that, for me particularly, you just pushed me to go and to be who God was creating me to be and to go and to step into leadership. Even as a high school student, you were already doing it. Um, you are already pushing me there, but then helping me to dream of being in full-time ministry. And when I doubted it or when I didn't think I was good enough or gifted enough or equipped enough, you just kept telling me um, that I was wrong and that I was. And you would point out like the small successes that I might would have and say, you would say, oh, look, see, I told you, you know, you're, you're totally capable of doing this and God's going to use you. And, and, uh, and so those moments really pushed me along. And then I just think of like our seven years in ministry together. And when I was first starting, just all the times that you sort of, you know, threw me out to sea to swim on my own and forced me to kind of grow and to learn and to, yeah, to be who God was creating me to be on my own. I mean, I just still look back and can't believe you sent me to Fun in the Sun like three weeks after I started the job by myself. I mean, what a ridiculous idea. But all those kids survived and came home, and I think some of them fell in love with Jesus more on that trip. But you were always you know, really pushing me out there. But the great thing is that you weren't pushing me and leaving me alone forever, but you would step back in when you knew I needed you, or you were always there to talk. And I cherish those memories of just us sitting in the office, me, you, and Karin, and dreaming and planning and brainstorming and thinking about all the things that were ahead. And um, so I just, I just look back and cherish. But the thing I really want to celebrate today is all of the men and women who are now in ministry, who were part of your youth ministry and who you believed in. You know, it's not just myself, but there were countless others before and especially after me who've gone on to do, uh, to pastor churches and to be in youth ministry and to be volunteers or whatever it is that they're doing now, I really believe it was birthed because they saw such joy and such um, satisfaction in what you were doing that they wanted to do the same. And so I just celebrate that today, that your legacy is well beyond just the 20 so years you spent in Raleigh um, there at that church, but it's all of the people that are now stretched all over that city, all over our state, and even beyond to places like South Africa. And so I just celebrate that. Uh, I celebrate you. I thank you so much for your friendship, for your mentorship, um, for all the ways you invested in my life and walked through a lot of really difficult times with me. And then just so gracefully sent me forth when we felt like God was calling us beyond. You didn't try to hold me back or uh, make me feel guilt or shame or anything like that. You just said, no, go do this. And in every way you supported it, um, you know, in your own personal life, but especially in, in the and the way the ministry has supported it. So I'm just so thankful for you, um, for all you've invested in me and for your family and all, and all the ways that you've loved us and our family. So thank you. We celebrate you today. We're so excited for um, this big moment.